Hey, hey, it's me, Nala, like the Lion King, and this is my channel, DD Nala, done by Nala. How is everyone doing, you guys? Halloween is literally this weekend, and so we are going to knock these pictures out. Okay, so this is what we did last week, you guys. Loving it, loving it, right? So, I'm going to just start it up. What we are going to be doing today is, after I look through the comments, I was looking through and I seen a few people who mentioned this character. And if you are any type of fan of Pan's Labyrinth, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys, I used to watch Pan's Labyrinth with my father when I was little all the time. Like when I was like like young, young, my favorite like three movies was like Mirror Mask, if you guys know what that is, Pan's Labyrinth, and of course Spirited Away. Like those were like my top three movies of like all time, besides the SpongeBob movie, you know. But those like were my favorite ones. The Pale Man was my absolute favorite. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have died too because those grapes were humongous. Like I could just hide her. Yeah, so that's what our first painting is Pan's Labyrinth, the Pale Man right here. And then also I am going to be painting Freddy Krueger. I know. I know, it took me a while, it took me a while. I'm going to paint Freddy Krueger. I'm trying not to paint the, the generic ones, but I mean Freddy Krueger, I mean, you know you just got to, you just got to. And it's crazy because I am a person who's terrified of dreams. Dreams is like, you guys will see. I'm, I'm gonna have like a whole saga about my dreams because I write all my nightmares down. It's uh, it's gonna be crazy, but um, yeah, Freddy Krueger, He's on my list, so we're gonna be painting him today as well. Um, if you guys noticed, <clears throat> this shirt right here, you can't get it in stores, you know. But this is a sneak peek on what are some things that are gonna be dropping this weekend. And it is my I'm Dynamic Don't Make Me Choose shirt. If you guys remember, this was the shirt I made, actually one of my first few videos on here which I've only been here like a few months like like top it up you guys um this shirt is gonna be on sale I'm so excited obviously I cut it because sometimes I kind of like just being a little bit more free a little bit more looser but this is one of the shirts that's gonna be previewed so giving a little sneak peek on what's gonna be dropping very very soon as in like this weekend but um yeah just to show you guys I wanted to show it off a little bit okay so let's go start this up and get our ash mirror started let's go You guys, I ripped the palette. I'm gonna just not put my paint over here. But dag nabbit, I'm so upset. All right, well, that was a bust. All right, guys, we gotta retire our beautiful palette. But it's okay, you guys. It's time to crack this open. Maybe if I can, like, I'm using my chopsticks. Finding more ways to cut myself, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right over there. Alright you guys, so the colors I'm going to be using today, of course, is gonna be my black. That one there. My shiny black, but we aren't afraid anymore. I'm gonna get my brown, because I have a lot of skin tones in this one, you guys. Um, of course we're gonna need our white. So our lightning agent. Looks like marshmallow puff. I'm gonna go for some marshmallows. Okay, and then we have our red and our yellow, and this is, of course, for Freddy Krueger's sweater and for some of the blood and kind of like 
kind of like those little like fleshy colors we're gonna have to use these two to like work on that brown to get that perfect skin tone we want to use for this very watery cheap red our yellow beautiful and these are all the colors we need you guys what is this one two three four five colors attempting a piece with five colors Ooh. okay so we have our colors here I'm not gonna attempt these two at the same time because these are like very different it's not like you know these are super super different um, well I am gonna draw them at the same time so you guys will see that first but I will be attempting these separately so like I said I'm gonna start off with my picture first with just a very small paintbrush and some black just to get that area and figure out exactly where my shapes are going to be grouped so I'm going to be doing the same style I've done for these other ones I start with the darker color and I work my way backwards and get gradually lighter and my highlights at the very 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 end so yeah let's see how this turns out I'm super excited So I'm going in with my second darkest color, which would be a browner color. And remember I told you guys I'm going to attack these two kind of separately. I'm a little worried that they're way two different color spectrums that I would really mess my palette up. So I'm only going to tap the, um, like attack this individual pieces. So got my brown and I'm gradually getting into those deep areas of those like veiny areas he has there with that brown as well. And I'm going to start building these colors up and see how it turns out. Honestly, I go into every piece kind of worried like I'm just like I went into this piece and I'm just like I don't know how I'm gonna get all these little craters like little areas this is why I say I interpret the piece because there's no way I'm gonna copy the picture exactly but I'm trying to interpreting where I want these things to go like then like the anatomy of like the actual claw it's not super perfect but I mean like it, it gets the job done you know what I'm saying but yeah there's a lot of guesstimating in here but I think I'm really getting to that point that I want to be it's so hard too because like I try not to rush to the very end to get those wider highlights on it just like uh it's so hard it's so hard not to it's so hard not to like it it literally brings the whole piece together and I'm trying to practice practice on not just doing like one little area of a piece super complete instead i like to work bigger with my colors and make sh Ooh, excuse me i like to work bigger with my colors so i can make sure i get a nice array of different textures and stuff so i want to make sure i can get all those different weird color suggestions that i make on my palette the blades like those are really fun like I really like because you can really see the like defining colors already because blades are super simple you're just putting in those darker grays lighter grays so those are really fun I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with the blades and the nails example so of course I have to add in my red sweater here and he has like a striped sweater so I'm gonna skip over the areas that are black because obviously you know I'm gonna have a black background that's that's literally my specialty black backgrounds when it comes to these horror um, movies all right all right so i'm back you guys um so basically um my ipad kept running out of storage so you guys were, were not able to see me painting like the remainder of our freddy krueger not the remainder but for the most part it was like almost at the very end i didn't realize it because remember i told you guys if i don't like look back a lot at my like ipad that i wouldn't know if it stopped recording and it stopped recording and your girl was still going um so yeah that's what happened so i said you know what enough is enough you guys and i have a canon camera i had it for uh my undergrad class 
and it was for videography and I'm like okay so it was a videography camera so why wasn't it recording like that was the reason why I wasn't using my camera because it was not recording videos long enough it would like stop in like two seconds I went to Geek Squad yesterday and they told me ma'am your shutter should not be off and I had my shutter off so the whole time the reason why it wasn't recording is because my video was like constantly trying to zoom well like zoom focus and it wouldn't do that because I turned the shutter off so and it works you know I'm still a little weird with gadgets and maybe like not as focused as it should be I'm still learning you guys well you know this is sad because like I literally took a whole video out with you guys it shows you know how much you kind of forget about undergrad and school um, but I'm still kind of trying to remember those things. So give me some grace is because my camera died on me or my iPad died but it ran storage on me and so I couldn't see that it just stopped recording. But I'm gonna keep going. I have my camera now so you guys are gonna see everything. Alright so hopefully you get less cutting and things like that. Alright bye. Okay so the only thing I did is just kind of like put those grays of the eyes and then white backwards because I don't want to just do solid white for the eyes. But you didn't really miss much. You didn't miss much. Alright so I'm going to move on to my pale man. This one was a little bit more challenging. Um, there were a lot of technicalities that was happening during I was you know during this creation because I was kind of getting a little bit irritable because I had to stop before I got to my pale man and switch out my um you know recording device but um so I was kind of feeling a little rushed but eventually I got the groove back and I really added in those weird colors you guys can see I'm like I'm like joining in two different color schemes like a greenish and a reddish I wanted to show that his hands were a little bit more bloodier so I really like I'm trying to like carefully add in that little red saturation into his hand without like making it like submerged in blood It's, it's giving um, Voldemort <laughs> with his nose, honestly, but it's just funny, it's funny. It's giving a lot of Voldemort here. But I'm just going to go ahead, repeat the same process. I went back, got in my dark, and I got really, really lighter as I went on. So that's what I'm basically doing here. I'm also tweaking a lot, tweaking a lot of stuff. So we're going to see how this turns out in the end. Nice. pretty hard time working on my teeth they were so annoying because they're so tiny little sharp teeth so I added like a little blood splurt on the side camera was messing up again so I ended up going back to my iPad but you guys we have completed our two pieces so we have our three piece look at that this was actually a lot of fun these last two pieces are low-key kind of my favorite Freddy Krueger piece here I varnished them by the way that's why they're not shiny and then we have It was really fun. I could have made it scarier, but um, I don't know. I got a little bit irritable because of my iPad and the camera and stuff. I, I just wanted to get it out of the way. I'll probably go back and forth with it, but um, this is what I got for that. But I think this was a success. I am still going to have to figure out what's going on with my camera. Um, where, where did I even put my camera? It's a Canon. If you guys can figure out, so like... It works, it's recording, but then it stops at 12 minutes. I'm trying to go through my settings. I'm not good at cameras. It's a Canon Rebel 216. Rebel T6, right? So if you guys want anything extra, send me some links, help me out. But um, 
honestly, I think this is pretty successful. We have two beautiful pieces and voila. So you guys, it has been a full month, a full month, you know? And I'm just like, we came a long way. We came a long way, you guys. I don't even know how many to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces. Okay, I'm gonna try to get them all together. No, I'll, I'll wait. I'm gonna upload another video. Um, I think that one's gonna be the one where I show all of them together. But, um, and of course, he's still looking at me. I'm tired of him. But anyways, um, that concludes our October Spooky Scary videos. Or does it? This is the end of this saga, but it's not the end of me creating dark material. That's literally my middle name. So, oh no, my middle name is not Honestly, just want to say thank you guys for joining on once again. And, um, I will see y'all maybe this week, maybe next week. And, um, Mm-hmm. <laughs>